Welcome back to my garage. This is uh, kind of a new segment or um, a vlog thing or whatever um, where I tell you about uh, things going on in my garage, projects I'm working on, uh, but also other stuff in my life. So this will probably be a weekly thing or maybe just a monthly thing or yeah, we'll see. So um, I attended a rally this weekend uh, on Saturday. Muropeden in Norwegian uh, means uh, fun pad or fun moped or whatever. Um, went great. I even got a prize for uh, best custom built uh, moped. So, uh, yeah, oh, I got it here. So that's the prize. Kustopeden. Yeah, hooray. The event was great. The bike was working uh, fine. Just some minor issues. I um, had some ignition trouble, but uh, was some loose contacts. So I fixed that, and uh, it was boiling uh, a lot on the slow, uh, slow bits in the woods. But nothing serious. I just had to calm down on the throttle, and it quit boiling. So um, yeah, I did fix some minor things uh, the day before I left. I mounted the rearview mirror instead of just carrying it in the toolbox. I mounted it uh, under my tie, you can say, on the left side of the bike, so I can look down on it and see behind me. I also mounted a strap on the toolbox because the metal is very thin, and uh, the strap is there to keep it from rattling and also keep it from tearing. It's very early in the morning. Uh, it's about uh, uh, I think it's uh, a little bit over 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm leaving for a rally today, so the redemption rally or whatever this time. And it, the weather is nice and it's supposed to be sunny all day. So I'm at my first fuel stop in the nearest town, it's about uh, 20 miles from home and the gas station is closed. Uh, probably doesn't open before 8, so... Ja, ja, jag bara filmer det så här på mopedtur. <laughs> Några öppnar åt eller? Ja, jag har bara kontanter så jag måste ta det själv på. Okej. Okay. So she just told me that it's not open yet. <laughs> Which I knew. So uh, I'll just keep on riding and stop at the next station. I was going to film a lot more at the rally, but um, I <laughs> I just couldn't get myself to to start filming, and uh, yeah, I, I got scared basically. So uh, I had to work on uh, filming and talking English uh, when others are around, bit, because uh, I was just too embarrassed and I couldn't get myself to start talking to people in English and filming, and uh, yeah, so uh, something to work on. <laughs> As I said, the coolant was uh, boiling at some points, so uh, I fixed that with, uh, or I hope I've fixed that with some ducting. Um, I might need to add a fan too, for the really slow parts when I'm riding. So uh, yeah, but um, it's not too bad, and if the ducts make it uh, slightly better, it's probably good enough. It's finally really summer now in Norway and that means uh, a lot of uh, outdoor projects that's been uh, waiting to happen and that's stealing uh, some time from uh, other projects so um, I haven't really done much in the garage these last two weeks 
except fixing small stuff on the red bike. I started working on the boat, uh, the boat which the floorboards for the red scoot is from. Um, I'm going to paint it and um, and add some new wood, obviously. So um, yeah, that's that's one of the projects. My girlfriend got a new car last week, and. Um, I got the task of uh, cleaning out the old one before we sold it. Hooray! I <laughs> 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 As you know, or some of you know, I work in a kindergarten. I've mentioned it in uh, some earlier videos. Last week I uh, attended a, um, a seafood seminar, or whatever. Basically learning about how to prepare seafood and how to get kids to want to eat and to enjoy seafood. Uh, with focus on preparing the food outside or outdoors. I had to fix uh, the fence at work because we were um, we were getting some chips. <laughs> uh, my kindergarten is a, a nature nature focused or whatever kindergarten, and um, to be nature uh, really nature focused, you need some animals. We have some uh, chickens uh, running around, and now we have some chips too. Uh, great, I think that's cool. I actually grew up with uh, chips. <laughs> My father. My father bought uh, in Norway. There's the, this thing called uh, confirmation. So when you're 15, you, you celebrate your confirmation, which uh, from the old times or whatever is meant to be like now you're grown up. Uh, I don't think you're grown up when you're 15, but anyways. Um, so uh, it basically means you get a lot of gifts, and a lot of those gifts are money. And uh, most people use those uh, use the money they get to buy uh, mopeds or boats or whatever. My father used the money to buy sheep or sheeps. <laughs> It's uh, kind of a kindergarten at home uh, nowadays too. Um, luckily, my uh, my the baby is uh, starting to get into a routine of uh, sleeping longer at night, uh, which is a good thing. So everyone is in a relatively better mood now than uh, what was a few weeks ago. There's been a lot of requests for various videos. Uh, I I can't really remember all of them, so I just want you to comment in, in this video. Leave a comment and tell me uh, if you had a request before and just remind me of it. Uh, and if you have something, uh, a new request, just post it in a comment below here. So uh, I know there was, uh, there's been requested by many people to do uh, a more thorough uh, video on the dyno, so I'm going to do that. But uh, I'm sorry, I just I can't remember all the other uh, requests. So please leave a comment and I will make a list and start making the videos you have been waiting for. There's some sweet undertones. And okay, what have I become? <laughs> a guitar, like wine tasting. Leather. Sucks. Strawberry waffles and some pea. Manure, in a good way. As you know from my last video, I, um, I'm starting to like cigars now and I can't wait to get a, a hold of a bottle of some uh, great rum and try it with cigars. I think that will be a great experience.
Speaking of strong stuff, I uh, just some uh, something I've been thinking about. I uh, I really enjoy spicy food. I like strong drinks and I like strong food and uh, and strong cigars apparently. The weird thing about strong food is that what used to be strong is no longer strong and it keeps evolving. So uh, and now I'm starting to be uh, <laughs> I've gotten into the habit of eating uh, two or three whole chilies on a piece of bread and so where does this end? Will I just quit eating normal food and just eat chili or habaneros? Because the the uh, the regular Tabasco just doesn't cut it anymore. Now it's the habanero type and I'm starting to use more and more of it and now a bottle will last me three days so <laughs> so I think I've uh, I, I need to to slow down on the chili maybe take a break so uh, just to not... Uh, I'm developing uh, a tolerance here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm... Uh, I need to clean my garage. As soon as I've uh, cleaned out this uh, mess I've made here, I'm going to start uh, back on the SPX project. So, the long-awaited SPX videos are coming. They are coming soon. Okay, thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.